Hey, what's up? It's Cecily. And you know what? I'm at Venice Beach. And I feel like I should be doing this outside of the car. So let's, let's try that. Let's do this week in Rise Your News at the beach. Hey guys, I'm here at Venice Beach. And I was like, what a shame it would be for me to actually film in the car when I have this gorgeousness behind me. So we're going to do our best to get through the news and see a little bit more of the sights, okay? <laughs> Let's try it. Starting it off this week, The Guardian reports that rideshare drivers are seeing price surges on the passenger side, but we're not seeing more pay. So if you had an inkling that something was going on, you might be right. Uh, both Uber and Lyft drivers report that there have been some instances where it seems that passengers are paying more, but where the money at? I'm happy that The Guardian published this article because we could really use a break. I mean, the media is talking about how Uber drivers are potentially dangerous and all this kind of stuff, but it's never really written from our standpoint of what's going on with the pay and everything. And a lot of people feel like that with these increased amount of surges in price, because we all know that both companies take more than 25%, um, that this may be a way for these companies to become more profitable. Uh, we also know that the IPO debuts didn't do so well, at least as well as they thought. And they think that this might be an area that the, both companies are trying to make up from. But guess what? <laughs> Somebody's on it and they're talking about it. If you guys are interested in this article, even if you are not, I urge you to read it. The link is down in the description. Take a look at that when I'm done. I got a few more stories left. Nobody's a fan of high gas prices, but have you given thought to what the average rideshare driver has to go through? Paying four bucks or more at the tank could increase to at least a hundred dollars extra in gas. And um, I don't know about you guys where you are at, but we're not receiving any extra bonuses for the gas hikes. So the San Francisco Chronicle wrote an article <laughs> for people like you and me who are experiencing these hardships at the gas tank and um i know you guys feel it because i know that this is a popular topic you know water cooler humor hey you know the gas prices are so high do you understand that i need gas to make money uh, a lot of us are hurting out here a lot of people are working just to pay gas which is a trip you know what i'm saying like what's up i need uber and exxon or somebody to partner. I need a 5%, 10%, 20% off or something. Like, let, let's go into that area as far as discounts go. An Uber driver was fired last week for refusing to offer a woman a ride to a clinic where she was headed for a medical abortion. He knew where she was going, but he asked her if she was going to Planned Parenthood. She said no. As the ride progressed, he mentioned that he was uncomfortable, that his wife was pregnant, and proceeded to ask her if she knew anything about the process and alluding to the fact that she might regret it um he then declined the ride he offered to take her back uh to her home which she declined and she posted this on reddit uh as i stated the driver was fired um and the woman is seeking to sue him for the experience that she went through with him and he believes that he should not have been fired uh because it was his choice not to participate in that as it was her choice to terminate her child. So with all that being said, what are your thoughts on the issue? The issue at hand, the Uber driver refused a ride to um, a passenger's destination based off of his, let's say, religious beliefs or moral beliefs, what have you, do you believe that he should have been fired? And do you believe, in fact, that if this is an issue of choice, that she has the right to feel the way she feels and he has the right to feel the way he feels? I'm very curious in finding out what your guys' thoughts are. Our final story is about a woman named Nicole that drives in the University of Arizona area. She has over 4,000 rides and she was once fired from Circle K from being too friendly. She picked up Coach Miller. Her kindness and friendliness has actually earned her the name of Mama Bear in this area and many students look forward to riding in her car. She not only helps them get there, 
she offers snacks, she offers advice, she's a pillar of the community, if you will, and someone that we think is worthy of mentioning. If you know of any Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, rideshare drivers out there, they're doing great things for the community, and they're not in the mainstream media, please send them to us. We want to talk about them, we want to sing their praise, praises, and that might even be you. If you did something amazing and over and above, why not let us know? In fact, you can leave a comment right now or you can reach out to me directly. We're always in search of news and tips and things that will benefit you, the driver. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please hit subscribe. <laughs> this is a wonderful channel and Harry is a wealth of knowledge. There's a bunch of top-notch contributors on here that are dedicated to providing quality content for you. All right, guys. Peace out.